10 days ago. I called you seven times. I heard about the kid. I'll be a better father than my old man. You're not mad? I'm not doing that much with my life. Might as well have a kid, right? I'm really glad we're having them young, too. That way we won't be too old to like take them to the playground and stuff. We can dig the same rides at the fair. We can grow up together. Just the three of us. Hey, 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 take it easy. I didn't say we were getting married or anything. Mr. Spangler. Tina's never fully worked up to her potential. But we expected more from her, too. What's happening here? This is junior high. We used to attach an enormous stigma to unwed mothers. Oh, I'm not so sure that was altogether a bad thing. Mrs. Knapp runs an excellent program for teen mothers. We'll transfer Tina over there immediately, and if she applies herself and works hard, then maybe we'll be able to see that she finishes. No, no there's, there's no maybe about it. Tina's gonna finish high school, college too. Did it ever occur to you that maybe you're making it too easy for these kids to have babies? That maybe you should be teaching them about what it's like to really parent a child instead of what happens between a sperm and an egg. And what are you teaching her? You're her father. I'm sorry to interrupt, Mrs. Carley. I was told Mr. Spangler was in your office. Yes, Mary, what is it? Uh, Mr. Spangler, your daughter just fell out on the soccer field. She's on her way down to the nurse's office. Is she all right? Oh, I'm sure she'll be fine. Um, will you see Dr. Ross? I can't hear you. Would you please speak up? Uh, my daughter, Tina Spangler, is here to see Dr. Ross. The, the teen center called? Age? 46. Tina's age. Oh, um, 15. Date of her last period. Mm. Hey, Tina, I haven't done anything yet. Oh, I thought you did. Would you like your parents to wait outside? Um, I'll wait outside. Let, let your mother stay. Don't be mad, Mom, but... It would be better if you left, too. Well, she's just 15. Uh, come on, Amy. Tina will we'll be right outside, OK? They were beginning to make me nervous. Would you like to hear your baby's heartbeat? Sure. I, I called the counseling center when I couldn't reach you. I didn't know what to do. I mean, should I take her to Doc Carlson? Well, I'm ashamed to take her there. I mean, this, this woman seems fine. Do you think our health plan will cover Tina? If they turn us down, I, I guess we'll just, you know, right. put the dip into our savings. Tina's college fund? Oh, I, uh, I met Miss Crawley. She said Tina has to start the Teen Mothers program. She doesn't have a choice. Oh. Well, when I was in high school, um, a girl got pregnant our senior year, and I mean, she just vanished off the face of the earth. Nobody knew where she went. Nobody dare I ask. I mean, she certainly didn't get to finish high school in plain sight. This isn't plain sight. They're trying to hide us. If our bellies didn't stick out, nobody would even know we're over here. I'm just trying to tell you how it used to be. Great, thanks.